So we will start with a uh, concept note and uh, later on, okay, if possible, it will be extended to the site proposal there. Yeah, we can say a concept note just, I, I am not sure whether how many people okay, among three of you, have you ever written about concept note for research? On bachelor degree, just the paper, a little bit, 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 a we can say their concept note is just not uh, only the summary, but it's just including some uh, some literature review. Somehow they, they might be extend to five or even 10 pages there. It's similar to research proposal. Therefore, uh, 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 United, United States, they, they may prefer to call it like concept note there. So whenever you just have any project, they may ask you to write a concept note. So the concept note like a research proposal there. Yeah, but in this part, we can say uh, the requirement may be not more than two pages there. There may be two or three. The longest one, it might be three. Yeah, the short test one, it can be a page uh, summary for that part. It's just enough for that short project there. Just in uh, the purpose of that uh, assignment, it will be something that uh, will scaffold everyone, like a, like a scaffolding that can uh, guide, can prepare everyone to be ready for your uh, research proposal, as well as uh, uh, maybe no research proposal, but uh, it may be some part that can step you to uh, your research report. Yeah, it, uh, it might save you some time, yeah, and be ready for that. And more or less the same time that you, you finish all the coursework, you can finish your uh, research report writing there. No, no worry much about this one. You can say, or it can be one or two sem uh, one or two semester more. You will, you will be able to collect your data and finish your uh, research report writing. One other chapter in this uh, textbook as well as this course, we also have uh, about how to write research report. So everything will be clipped in this part and uh, will really uh, guide and scaffold everyone from uh, scratch uh, to come up with uh, how to write, how to conduct research. So from uh, chapter one to chapter maybe 18, right, in this book, 18 or something. Let me check this one. Yeah, uh, to chapter 18, we can say, it uh, really guide you to uh, talk about how to uh, write a report there. Okay, just like uh, some of you may experience some part from your uh, bachelor degree, but in here, it's just the other part that can add up to the part. Okay, I, I hope everyone should get uh, the textbook as well, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, we cannot see. Yeah, yeah, that's one, that's one. Yeah. Did you print or did you buy the original textbook? <laughs> print, it's print. Okay, yeah. But with the. Yeah, like, uh, oh, you ch 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 clip it at the original one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's it much better than uh, the other plastic. You can say maybe later on it will be broken and then okay, it's not really nice there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, how about this Mr. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 A, lot of, a lot of textbook. <laughs> the beginner, the beginner. Yeah, the beginner, you can read. How about Mr. Uh, Misa and Mr. Chen Dead? Whether you got the textbook? Yeah, 
You got it, uh, not yet. <laughs> yes, lecture. I got it. However, I haven't uh, read it yet. Okay. Way too lecture. Yeah, yeah. Just take some time to read it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We we can say it is new. It hard, but uh, if we try, we can do it, right? So everything is possible. You can see <laughs> they can do it, other can do it. We also can do it. Yeah, if we focus, if we uh, try, we can say like, uh, we also can do it, right? Okay, so to go back to our lesson. So what have we discussed so far last week? As far as the week before last week? Actually, we can say like uh, this week, it's the third week that we met. Last week we learned about how to choose your research. Yeah, how to choose. How can we be formulate the SLRT? Mm. The design, design of research. Yeah. The proposal. The mm -hmm. proposal the important of uh, important question of proposal. Yeah. Technology. Choose the topic, and also we, you guide us to to check the education topic in one website also. Yeah, yeah. Not only education topic, but a lot of, of sector inside there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Also need. Good over you, right? <laughs> Thank you. So I write down on my notebook here. Okay. So we call there here. <laughs> so everything inside here. <laughs> okay. So, yes, so far from last week. Okay. Any concern, any question that we can uh, clarify before we move to uh, the new chapter today? <laughs> My concern is okay, um, what you want us to do is choose a topic, but I'm not yet <laughs> find out my my uh, topic yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Mesa, any concern in this subject or oh, uh, last chapter? Uh, for me, I don't have the chance. I we have had addiction too much for everything uh, for the subject. Okay. Am I mistaken, Dad? Yeah, Maybe brother. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so any concern uh, in second date about what we have learned so far? I haven't thought about what I concerned yet because <laughs> I haven't read and I haven't done anything related to the research. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, lecture. I will, okay. I will take time. Do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it yeah, it's sometimes we can say, yeah, you need to read a lot in research. But uh we can say like uh, no matter you have done a great research paper or not, along the way you will learn a lot of things based on your topic. We can say like depend on your topic. So that's why we just motivate uh but you you better choose your topic based on your major or your skill in here like uh, your, your subject matter. For example, if you, you just teach English, it might be some topic about uh, English or language teaching. Yeah, if you teach uh, mathematics or biology, it should be something about those things that we can say it will add up more uh, to, uh, to expertise your 
your skill there. We can say, since uh, you are to review, you are going to read some article, some textbook that talk about those things, you can say, right? So it's really important. Yeah, to my experience, like I just discussed with you at the beginning of this one, that uh, we can say, we just, uh, I, I have not enough time to read the textbook most, mostly with the coursework. Yeah, some, somehow just uh, survive or just uh, read for yeah, some assignment for some uh, task design by the lecturer. Yeah. But uh, we can say what I learned, I have learned the most, especially about teaching methodology okay, uh, that I have read and review for my research topics in my research topic, it's just about uh, CLT, uh, communicative language teaching there. Yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, we have done it with that part. We also need to not only review about uh, CLT, but should be review all of the uh, uh, teaching method to compare, okay, and explain why we decided to choose a CLT, why not other, for example, right? Why not GTM, like a grammar translation method and so on? And yeah, so from that part, I have ex uh, a chance to learn, to know, and understand more about a different type of teaching method that, that we have a chance to read and review about eight principles of a teaching method that, uh, yeah, something that uh, really, really helpful there, we can see. Okay, so uh, that is just something. And yeah, as I uh, said earlier, we can see like this subject of, of this session, if you just get along with us, you will come up with uh, uh, the procedure or process, how to write and complete your research there. We will discuss. We will learn so far since from chapter to the other one, it uh, just fulfill and complete your paper there, we can see. So yeah, we will, uh, we will complete one chapter per week and uh, including with your presentation, you can say uh, other part. And yeah, I, I will prepare all of the slides for you, even those uh, you just have group presentation, but I still have my own slide as well that uh, can be summarized for everyone to uh, come up with the uh, precise and concise point for you to write down there. And uh, yeah, we, we will have uh, the other project to do, even group and individual project that will uh, really scaffolding. Everyone to be ready for your research paper or research writing there. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for this and uh, we just start, no matter three or four or even one, I also talk today. <laughs> Since we just have the call, right? So uh, yeah, we hope that uh, everyone just uh, come up with, uh, with the video to uh, discover back those things, right? Okay, I'm going to share the slide. So here you can see uh, chapter two is that uh, we are talking about research process. Yeah. Have you gone through something in chapter two here? Or not yet? Not yet. Not yet, right? Okay. Okay, so... In uh, chapter one, that we talk about uh, research, I mean, uh, about a way of thinking. I mean, some big picture about uh, how to write or a research paper in here, we can see. So here we are going to discuss about research process. Okay, at my side, it's just uh, a bit noisy here.
Mm. Mm. Have the dump truck they just come and collect the the trash in here. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we we are going to have a quick glance of uh, a quick uh, go through the process of this part. But uh, we can say it will scope and show you further more about what you want to do along the way to complete your research paper. And later on, it, uh, this call will guide you to a chapter more specifically. Yeah, like uh, next, next week, we have to talk about uh, literature review. Yeah, normally, people just struggle and uh, uh, they just have to come up with uh, what are the things that they can include it in their chapter two there. All right. So uh, this textbook, we can say like the textbook that uh, we are going to follow here. Uh, it's just like a step-by-step -step, uh, guideline or, or guiding that really lit and guide you to uh, talk about your your uh, research report writing there, right? Okay, so here you can see the thing that uh, we are going to, we are going to uh, discuss in here, just about the A step model. Okay, step should be with S. <laughs> the A step model for carrying research, you can see like uh, page number one, it's just talk, talking about uh, deciding what to research. Yeah, I mean, uh, case number one, it should be something about your own decision, what, uh, how about the research report, you can see, all right? So you can decide what are your interesting field that you want to study, and we just have step one, that you just formulating a research problem. So you can find out the gap, you can find out the problem. So what, at, what is the problem that uh, talk about that uh, research topic that uh, you really want to study about this one? The page number two, that uh, uh, talking about your planning, then you just plan, you just uh, uh, come up with a plan about a research study here. You know, what are the things that you can uh, include in that part that uh, we have step number two. It's just conceptualizing a research design. You can start to framework a uh, uh, thing in your research design. Yeah, we can say like uh, you, you may have the conceptual framework. How about uh, what are the concepts that uh, might be cover in that part? And I'm three, just constructing a research design. Yeah, you may start to think about which research method or research approach that going to be uh, follow, for example, like uh, whether qualitative or quantitative, or even much measure that you can use there. Then number four, you start thinking. Like step number four, you just start thinking about the sample, uh, sample or or sampling technique or or uh, the method that uh, you can select your sample. Yeah. Okay, whether you will use random or non-random sampling method, okay, or purpose or snowball, for example, right? Something there about the sampling, sampling method in here, uh, selecting a sample. Okay, the step number five is writing a research proposal. So, yeah, we can say normally we can say before you can start uh, to write your full research report or thesis. You may, you must have your research proposal to show to your supervisor, or examiner, or even donor. We can say for some uh, research writing is not just only for graduate, but also for some uh, fundraising or or grant uh, meeting and so on. So uh, you also need research proposal if your research proposal is uh, more attractive and more significant you will be granted uh, the fund for conducting the research. Yeah, page number three, you can say like, uh, so uh, so far from uh, step number one to number five, it's just to complete your research proposal. So step number three, it's just about conducting a research study. 
mean, uh, yeah, after your proposal has been approved, you are going to conduct your uh, research study in here. You uh, just move to step number six, just, uh, collecting the data, I mean, the data collection. So yeah, you may come up with uh, some tool uh, to include in that part. It might be survey questionnaire, it might be interview group, uh, uh, focus group discussion, okay, and so on there, or even observation okay, to collect your data. And step number seven, about processing and displaying data. This part, you can say, as you collect data, you need to uh, processing, mean like uh, just start to analyze and display data. You may start to find, uh, to show your finding there from that uh, data analysis, that is the thing. And step uh, number H about writing a recite report. Yeah, the last step, you will produce a recite report for that part. Okay, so uh, this is just the overview for this chapter. So this chapter will scope you over there because like if you have already experience with this part, you can start to develop your paper as well. Yeah. So uh, here are the component that uh, can be uh, followed and ca can be moved from uh, pace as well as from step to step. It, it's just something that uh, can guide you there. Yeah. So this chapter, it, it like the big picture, we'll show you the big picture for that. I just move. Uh, the, the detail will be uh, discussed in the next slide. So uh, before we just move to this one, you can see about the uh, research process. Yeah. We can say, you can see like, uh, uh, in here, we should have pace, which should have pace A, pace B, and pace C, for example. So about the main task that you have to do in here, you can say like the first one, you need to decide. Decide what? Yeah, this is a question to answer. <laughs> yeah, so you need to decide. Decide, okay, it can be about uh, your research topic as well as research question. Or yeah, as you got the research topic, you may come up uh, with the statement of problem. Yeah, as well as to develop a uh, research attitude or a research question to be answered there. All right, so what, what are the things that you want to solve? Or what are the question, what are the research question that you want to answer? Yeah, answer them into uh, solve, to solve the problem there. Yeah, like what we have discussed in uh, chapter one, yeah, that uh, which have some some good and some quality of this equation as well, right? Like PSB is just about your planning, about how. Yeah, so planning regarding to how, okay, how to uh, get, get the evidence to answer to the research question in here. It uh, will respond to has A, right? So how to gather e evidence, you, you need to plan, you need to think about uh, the tool for the data collection, yeah, to respond to this one. How, uh, what are the uh, tool to analyze the data, to display the result, to answer or to respond to this question as well. And PC, you can say like, uh, you are going to conduct research, yeah, regarding to collecting data in here. Yeah, we can say what you have planned, what you have uh, selected. Uh, so far in page B, this part, you need to implement it. You need to conduct it. So the require information, yeah, through the tools, through the planning, you just go and collect the data in here. We just have operational uh, step and research journey. You can say we just have from step number one to step number eight in here. you like uh, what uh, you can see from the content at the moment. So for page A, we just have step one. For uh, page B of page number two here, we just have uh, other four steps. Yeah, and page C, we just have other three steps in here. So yeah, this, this part is just uh, 
show you and reflect to the uh, previous slide as well, right? There's something there. Check continue. So uh, to do that one, we can say like uh, some part that uh, methodology, we can say methodology differ due to underpin uh, phil uh, philosophy. We can say it should depend on, yeah, it can be some type of your uh, research attitude. It can be a limit or a determine uh, about whether it just belong to a quantitative or qualitative that can be uh, included in your study. Yeah, the, the other one, the process is the same for quantitative and qualitative research. Yeah, you can say it just uh, follow the same thing, but it just change some uh, part that uh, in the tool that will be used in here. Yeah, we, we check how uh, the data collection tool for quantitative and uh, the other part can be used in a qualitative there, you can say. And uh, next we can say like each approach use, uses different uh, research method for data collection, data processing, analysis and style of communicating the finding. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier. So if you use quantitative, maybe research method or uh, the tool uh, to use for data collection might be different data analyzing or data processing, it, it will be different as well. It's your best on that part, all right? So okay, it can be interview, it can be uh, observation, it can be uh, uh, using survey questionnaire, yeah, or experimental research and so on. Okay, so those things that uh, depend on uh, the research approach or research method that you have used so far. Any question uh, about this one before we move? Any doubt, any concern? No, any concern. No, no any concern now. Okay, so yeah, this one is the, the uh, the inform, we can say, to inform what are going to be done during that part. You can see uh, this one a little bit small, but uh, maybe you can see more in your textbook, just uh, table 1.1, just tie our research study from, uh, from the perspective of the attitude, you can see. So you can see here like uh, some example, E, aim, man, sim, and a tie of research. So we just have descriptive research, we have a uh, correlational research and explanatory research in here. So you can see like uh, just about uh, socioeconomic uh, characteristic of uh, resident of uh, community. You can see this, this is it might be the uh, title or topic of your research design. Yeah, and this one about aim, we can say uh, to describe what is uh, prevalent regarding a group of people, community, phenomena, situation, program, or outcome. <clears throat> can, can you see it clearly? Or cannot, maybe from the phone, a bit hard to read, right? I could see it uh, a bit small, but it can can see can see okay. it. Okay, make, make make sure you can read it. Okay, also uh, in the book also have picture, right? Yeah, yeah, it's from the textbook, right? Yeah, Thank just you. see it in the textbook. Okay, and uh, this part again say the main theme to describe what is uh, prevalent. Okay, so something there. And this is it, it uh, something about uh, correlational research. You can see like impact of a program relationship uh, between a stressful living and incident of heart attacks, for example. So what are the correlation with the living in 
uh, a stressful and successful or, or a happy living environment? Is it affect to the, the heart attack or not in here? So uh, the aim is to establish or explore. Yeah, we can say like that. You, you can see the keyword here to ask, uh, to establish or explore a relationship and an association or an interdependence. Yeah, it's just something that uh, covered that part. And men seem to this uh, just to ascertain if there is a relation. Yeah, we just want to clarify. We want to make sure or confirm to the hypothesis. Okay, if there are any uh, relationship between one factor to the other one, it can be cast uh, anything there. Yeah, so but this one we call like a correlational research. Yeah, and some topic uh, you can see here. And uh, regarding this, okay, uh, we can say about explanatory uh, research, like uh, it may come up with some question, why a death stressful living result in heart attack, yeah? And how does technology create uh, unemployment or employment, for example? You can see here, like uh, the aim of this is just to explain why a relationship or association or independent basis why a particular event occur. Yeah, we, we just try to explain. Yeah, explain why the relationship is formed, for example. So uh, this part is just uh, want to show you about Thai of research study from the perspective of the attitude. So this, this, this other thing, right? And mostly, a commonly used case okay, just about uh, three types of uh, research here that they, they normally included there, like descriptive research, correlational research, and explanatory research in here. Any question based on this uh, slide? If you look from four, maybe uh, a bit small, right? Okay, but I'm going to drop the slide, no worry. or you can see it from your PDF file from the textbook, right? Okay, I would like to move and uh, we may discuss later if you have some question. Uh, this one I uh, have already dropped into your slide uh, in, in your group, right? About uh, the procedure. Uh, if uh, we can see like, if, have you ever seen this one? So the the in 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 the group, right? In Telegram group, the group yeah. In the group last year. Last year, okay, last year. <laughs> so we can say like uh, this is about the research journey. We can say you can see uh, here, like you may starting from uh, like formulating your uh, a research problem. You can say I said you got a topic. You, you just start to form, uh, formulate uh, your research problem. It might be getting from literature review as well. Somehow we can say uh, you may read to get some uh, problem or some gap that uh, you may not know in here, all right? And then uh, you, you can look at this, this row, it's the main step in here about conceptualizing research design, uh, constructing an uh, instrument for data collection, selecting a sample, uh, writing a research proposal, collecting data, processing data, and uh, writing a research report, all right? So this is the main step. And what are the, uh, the other sub, uh, step for that part? We can say, like uh, formulating a research uh, problem, it should be con consider consideration and step in formatting a research problem in here. You can say that you have the step that uh, you can consider. And in here you can see like what, like a uh, variable and hypothesis. Uh, 
okay, definition and uh, typology that you, you can include with uh, variable in, in that part. What are the uh, independent or dependent variable? Yeah. So uh, deciding what. So this step is just like uh, about the pace. I mean, pace number one or pace A in here. Just deciding one. Okay, so uh, you can see here, like uh, from here to here, it's just about what? About planning, right? It's just including with uh, study design, uh, validity and, and uh, reliability of the research tool. Yeah, it might be uh, a field test of the research tool, yeah, like pilot study. This one we call like uh, similar to, uh, not similar, it, it can be called one like pilot study, pilot study to other. The tool here, you can see, as a constructing, uh, a constructing an instrument for data collection, whether it's a questionnaire or even the uh, interview protocol. Yeah, you need to testing it. Is it uh, reliable or not? And then just move to a data collection here. Yeah. <laughs> what else? You can see, we just move to. Uh, uh, you can see like uh, writing a research proposal. It should be what content our research proposal. Yeah, it come up with, uh, yeah, three, uh, the first three chapter we can see. Okay, and whenever you move to uh, uh, collecting data, you can say editing other data. Yeah, it can be, yeah, something that you can, you can, uh, you can see like filter the data in here. Uh, developing a code, a code book. Yeah, it can be yeah a, a interview maybe a, a color code that that can be identified. Oh, okay, like uh, one problem you can use uh, the blue color, the the pink color for the second one, the third one, or coding like uh, somehow. Since we can say like uh, in research, you cannot uh, identify the real name of the uh, participant. All right. And then uh, processing data, you can say as a coding, you need to analyzing the data in here. Yeah, you can say in this part, you can see like a method of data process use of a computer and statistic. Yeah, it might be Excel, it might be uh, SPAS, yeah, or any other uh, computational program that it can help you to analyze the data in here. Okay, this one like uh, writing a research report, principle of uh, scientific uh, writing. Yeah, scientific uh, report writing, we can see like uh, you need to write with a uh, reference with in text uh, citation there. Like uh, last week, I also dropped you about the uh, in text citation follow APA style. That, that's one also important, right? Yeah, if you don't know how to do that, it really upset call. You cannot write this one probably. Okay, and uh, I, I uh, just want you to pay attention as well. You can say this is the power call or literature review. So uh, mostly, most steps just need literature review, even uh, formulating uh, research problem, formulating your conceptual framework just from literature review, uh, constructing uh, an instrument for data collection also need can be uh, getting from a uh, literature review, selecting a sample, also something here. It can, can be powerful from this part. And writing here also needed. You need literature review to, to what? To discuss, yeah, in discuss, uh, same chapter, really need that part. Any question about this, uh, this chart? If you understand this, we can say, no need to study the rest of the lesson, it's fine. You can start doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to I want to study more. That's why I I try not to understand now. If I understand, I cannot study more. I want to study more. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So just wait and see, right? Okay, so yeah, this one page really important letter. You can see, yeah, you can see something in detail and then come back to see this one. So this is the map for that part. We got you there. So yeah, something here. Any other thing?
No, right? Okay. Good. So let's just move and see the, the rest. Right. This is the six steps we can see in the research process. Okay. Also useful. We can say start from what? Okay, this is step number one. We can say identifying a research problem, uh, specifying a topic and problem. Yeah, specifying a topic and problem. Yeah, yeah somehow we can say uh, research problem should be considered first and then formulating a research topic. Yeah. Okay, make sure the topic including in uh, with the uh, research problem in here. Okay, and I would like to clarify as well, like uh, this part need reference. Okay, who written about the gap, about uh, the thing there? Okay, that they, they said like, okay, uh, there is still a problem or oh, there is a gap to study. Okay, you need to justify it uh, to fit with the contact. Yeah, it should be in uh, Camodian contact and so on. Okay, or somehow you can find it directly from uh, Camodian contact, but somehow you may not find it. So from other, other country, you also can justify it. Number three, you can say, suggesting the need to study it for audience. Yeah, we can say yeah, you just clarify, just uh, just uh, have one line or, or two line to clarify that part, to uh, demonstrate that a uh, reason that you uh, conduct that uh, study here. Okay, so I said that stage or, or that uh, steps, we can move to uh, step number two, like reviewing the literature review. It's not far different from. Uh, the previous one, we can say like uh, locating resources. Yeah, you can uh, uh, brainstorm about what to be included uh, in that part based on your research topic, statement of problem, or uh, attitude of the study or research question that you have uh, come up so far. You select uh, selecting resource uh, selecting resources. Yeah, start go to. Uh, yeah, it can be from website, from Google Scholar, can be from a book, or it can be from journal, yeah, article or research uh, paper and so on. Yeah, to cite, to be your reference there. Yeah, it can be summarizing, summarizing sources. It can be from three different a writing style, you know, like you have learned in uh, GS3 and so on, like about writing research, uh, writing skill for writing research report there. There can be uh, paraphrasing. It can be direct quote. Uh, yeah, paraphrase means like, uh, like uh, indirect quote as well, right? Okay, so direct quote and indirect quote and summarizing it itself. Somehow you can summarize it, right? to be included in your research paper. Okay, so uh, then we just move to like uh, specifying a purpose for research. Yeah, identifying the purpose statement or major intent. Yeah, it's just some part that you just uh, write down with the purpose of the study. Narrowing the purpose statement to research question hypothesis. Yeah. So uh, come back and develop about uh, research attitude and research question in here. And as well as research hypothesis. So all of them are one family in here. So what are the, the attitude for your study? What are the research question that you want to answer? As well as research hypothesis in here, right? Yeah, after that, we can say, just move to uh, collecting the data. You're selecting uh, any view to study, obtaining permission, gathering information, number of word, yeah, number. If you talk about number, it's just uh, talking about quantitative or qualitative. 
when uh, talking about number. Yeah. When uh, we're talking about number, is it about quant or qualitative? When uh, we get the data or information in words, uh, in uh, numbers, is it quant or qual? Yeah, yeah, when, when, quantical, yeah, quantitative, but mostly, it's just, uh, exactly, not mostly, <laughs> okay, obviously show that it's just uh, in qualitative, all right, okay, and as I you get and collect all data, it just come up with analyzing and interpreting data, like break down the data, drawing conclusion, Displaying the data, I mean, uh, you know, like your finding, explaining the data, yeah, it uh, about something about discussion. Okay, your finding, are the finding, and uh, so on, what other factor might be something. And then you just move to uh, this part, like uh, reporting and evaluating research. So uh, deciding on audiences, structure the report, writing the report uh, sensitively, evaluate the report, yeah. Is it effective? Is it uh, good enough? Okay, and it just uh, takes time to go back in here. So check back and forth. Okay, so uh, it's not far different from the previous one. And uh, this part is just something that uh, it can be uh, clarified and confirmed the step as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a bit, a little bit different, but uh, something more than the same there, you can see. Any question? Maybe no, right? Okay, so we will talk and uh, detail about the chart at the moment. Okay. Like uh, Mr. Chandet said, I don't want to understand now, I want to, to learn more, right? So here the detail you can see. So uh, about page number one or page A in here, just about deciding what to do or what to research, you can say, right? Deciding what to do or what uh, to research. So you need to come up with a research problem, your formulating research problem, and then you should go and develop the research topic. Sometimes you can say, so uh, most important step, because uh, the following step are influenced by the research problem. You got it? So you define the research problem carefully. You seen everything will be respond, we'll, uh, we'll try to find and solve uh, the statement problem in here, or research problem in here. Yeah, without problem, no need to conduct the study. Yeah, we conduct research because we want to solve the, pro the problem, right? It's without problem, why do we need to solve? We take some uh, tablet of medicine to cure the illness, but we are okay, we are healthy, no need to take medicine in here. So we say the same thing, we can say we conduct research because there is a problem to be solved, all right? That's why we conduct research. Not mean check and research to graduate in here. So define what are the exactly problem, whether that uh, problem has been solved by other or not yet. Sometimes we think the problem, but uh, the research has already existed. They just conducted last month, for example. They just released it last month. So if you find like that, okay, we better change it to the other one. Uh, find other problem there. You got what I mean? Okay, so uh, to, to develop this one, you can answer to the question, what do you want to find out about? How you got sufficient funds to do the research? Yeah, the first one, you need also need to be careful as well. Yeah, you can say whether you have enough fund, I mean budget in here, is it uh, uh, big enough? 
or small enough, or broad enough, or narrow enough to conduct based on your fund. You sometimes it's good to conduct it uh, uh, at the whole country, but when you look at your budget, you just have only a ten thousand US dollar, for example. So it may not enough for that, right? If you just go and travel around and interview people, uh, just about a thousand people all over the country, like uh, more than 25, uh, just, just about 25 province and city in here, it's just a bit hard for you. So you need to consider about funds, about budget. Okay, how you got the time available to conduct the study? Yeah, with a, okay, fun, time, is it enough or not? Yeah, you plan to interview uh, a, a thousand people, but normally we can say like interview, they never conduct with that big number. Yeah, or it can be like a interview, but interview with a quantitative, you just have a survey questionnaire, but you don't want the people to fill in, since it will really take time. Currently, since people cannot access to uh, data, uh, access to use uh, like Google form and so on, so you need to go and interview them, but using the uh, survey questionnaire, you just go and tick for them, for example. Do you have time for that? How you got knowledge of relevant discipline? Yeah, really important. Knowledge of relevant discipline in here. Whether uh, that, that interesting part, is it related to your, your uh, existing knowledge or not? Yeah, for example, like uh, we are a teacher, but we just want to conduct research in uh, uh, economic or even like uh, <laughs> ecology, for example, right? So yeah, whenever it's so far from our discipline, it really matters to us as well. So conduct what we, we are specialized or in the field, it, it much better and safe. If not so, you may not understand oh, how, how can I interpret the data if you don't know that, that uh, system clearly. Do you have sufficient knowledge or skill needed? Yeah. Do we have that one? Yeah, whether it just, uh, yeah, with your expertise, like I said earlier, is it something there or something that is new to you as well? If uh, you want to conduct that, you will spend some more time to understand what is uh, existing and so on and so it will uh, take you time. And whenever the result come, you may not be able to write a comprehensive uh, finding for them as well, since uh, you do not have any uh, existing knowledge about this one. So yeah, this question really good. All of this question really good. You, you better come up with this one. Yeah, if you are an English teacher, should write something about language teaching. If you are the uh, subject matter, like, like mathematics, like uh, some part, you better write about STEM education, about uh, how to teach uh, geo, uh, uh, yeah, it's just something about geo bra and so on, okay, that, uh, that there is some, some part that can be in your special line. But if English teacher just go and write about mathematics and uh, STEM ed education, it might be somewhere there. It's just a bit hard for you, right? You got what I mean, this part? Just no, okay. <laughs> yeah, think about it carefully, right? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to find? Think about your fun, think about your time, yeah, uh, knowledge, uh, relevant discipline, okay, sufficient knowledge and uh, the skill that uh, you needed for that part. Yeah. Skill, it can be like, uh, for example, like if you are not good at uh, quantitative, also the problem yeah. about statistics, you really need, need those uh, skills as well, we can see, right? Not only the subject matter, but it can be uh, the tool and the method that you use, right? If you are not good at uh, quantitative, when you conduct quantitative research, it may trouble you as well. Yeah. 
Okay, so in chart one, formulate your research problem carefully, right? It, everything, everything for your, for your uh, paper in here. Because other, other parts, other steps will be powered or influenced by the research question. All right. If you come up with the wrong research question, everything will be, will be changed, we can say, need to be changed. Any part to clarify? Any question? Clear or clean? Quiet now. <laughs> okay. I move first, right? Okay, and then we can discuss later. Okay, let's move to page number two. About planning a research study, right? Planning a research study mean uh, it's just about uh, method about the thing. So about step two about conceptualize a research design that you need to plan in advance. You can ask yourself what uh, you find depend on how it was found. Okay, what do you find? Or uh, what you find? Uh, depend on how it was found. In the first one, we can say, uh, you can select an appropriate design. design. Is it about quantitative? Is it about uh, qualitative or make method that you want to apply? This is the thing. And the design has to be valid, workable, manageable. Yeah. Valid means the thing can be uh, uh, trash can be uh, reliable, workable. You can say like make sure it can be afford to do it based on your fund, based on your budget, based on your time. Yeah, manageable. Yeah, it just meet your discipline, meet your uh, skill. Like uh, it just under your control. You can say not be nasty. You get the data. You don't know how to interpret. That part of really disaster there. Okay, be aware of its strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, you can uh, consider about what are the uh, limitation of that part. What are the great thing? What are the limitation? Somehow we can say like uh, your finding might be represent a few school like from one school, but cannot be represent the whole country in here. Since your study you just conduct in only in only one, uh, one or two schools. And then you can now say, oh, the finding will be, uh, will be uh, represent all of the school in Cambodia. Yeah, cannot send your sample, just uh, uh, about like one or two teacher or uh, yeah, about 50 or 60 students, for example, in from that school only. So it not, cannot be uh, over generalization in here. All right, so need to be careful. So yeah, important to uh, research design in here, Com uh, to conceptualize research design, you need to think about method to be used. Okay, you can say like the, the design must be valid, workable and manageable and aware of its strength and weaknesses in here. Okay, how good or how bad it is. Yeah, something there. I move to one more. I will not ask whether you have any question or not, but we will discuss later. Okay, let's just move to step number three in page number two, to constructing an instrument for data collection. Yeah. So uh, the question that you need to answer, how will you collect your data? Yeah, uh, really uh, important question. How, right? How? So uh, the first one, we can say like uh, construct a research instrument or research tool to collect data. Interview schedule, questionnaire, note on observation, diary, interview guide, etc. So yeah, those things you need to think in, in it one. If you just uh, interview, you can prepare or arrange a schedule for meeting or uh, the, the interview question 
Yeah, or we call like some people they call it like uh, interview uh, protocol, right? Yes, like uh, yeah, it can be a structure or semi-structure interview question. Yeah, questionnaire. Yeah, like note on observation. You may need the checklist or <laughs> or yeah notes. Okay, like a field work observation. So you need uh, a block, like a lot to fill in. Your diary, like yeah, you know, some part that you can record the thing, and uh, interview guide, yeah, like I I, I uh, said earlier, like the uh, interview protocol or uh, interview question in here. Or secondary data, you can see like the uh, information already collected for other purposes, yeah, like uh, what you got it from uh, your reading, for example, yeah. And uh, do a pre-testing if your recital pilot study. Yeah, we can say like uh, if you adapt or even you design, you can say you, you need to pilot it first, like testing it first, whether it is it's just a uh, uh, valid or reliable or not. In so your some part, we can say if you just adapt, I mean you just copy from other, it might be fit with their contact, but not in Cambodian contact. If you design it by yourself need to test it as well before you go and collect the data in here. All right. So, so far here. Any question? No, like that. No. Okay, so I think we better break for a while and uh, let you just go back and review something. And after 50 minutes, we can back again and discuss further more. Just since we still have some more slides to go. And uh, we have at the end of uh, this part, we will uh, discuss further more uh, regarding to uh, how to construct your research topic. And I want to see your feeling as well. As uh, we gone through this chapter, what do you feel? <laughs> Okay, so a 15 minute break for your coffee, for your toilet is fine. And uh, at uh, 3 45, we'll come back and continue, right? Yeah, only, yes, only for uh, today, but we're still <laughs> making, uh, making things happen. <laughs> <laughs> I will continue to the next slide, okay, and we uh, can discuss so far along the way. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we are going to move to page number two about uh, planning a research study the same, but uh, move to step number four, right? About selecting a sample. So here you can see like uh, which you have in the picture here, that you may have the total population and then you can decide to choose among them. If you may choose only four of them to represent, you can see like uh, uh, four people here will be the sample from the total population here. So here the total population and here the sample that you selected from all of those people. And how to choose this, it just depends on your uh, sampling method that you use it, right? So you use randomly or purposefully, you can choose it uh, by you have know or you have learned that, okay, they are just the people that you need. And then you can, uh, you can uh, choose them. You can choose them there, you can see. So uh, this part you can see 
something, you, you uh, can select the sample by choosing who will take part in your research. You can decide, eh? you can decide that part. So uh, you just have some other part that you can consider, like select appropriate sample of participant to uh, present the study population. Yeah, we can say make sure they can represent. For them can say something that can be the model or the sample of, of uh, the total population here, all right? Avoid bias. Yeah, bias like uh, we can say, uh, you want to prove your research is uh, uh, about negative effect of uh, a stressful living that that uh, may not may not affect on the heart attack, for example. So you just try to choose the people uh, who just something have something strong that uh, really reject to those things, for example. Okay, so bias bias then means you just throw to something uh, that uh, really not uh, fair or not really true for that part, right? Random or probability sample. So random, we can say not about purpose, but uh, you just uh, select them randomly by choosing based on the uh, lucky part selection or lucky draw. You just choose uh, by writing the name and then you can select them. And uh, non-random or non-probability uh, sample, yeah, like uh, purpose, you just uh, point or uh, select them immediately by knowing about uh, the criteria or, or their uh, specific information. And then you just choose them. Uh, without uh, random, we can see, right? And uh, in this part, we also uh, be aware our strength and weaknesses are different sampling methods. Yeah, we can see like, uh, we will study and learn more about the sampling technique. Yeah, that uh, there are just about uh, nine or 10 different uh, assembling technique there, right? So we will learn about strength and weaknesses of that part. So each uh, sampling method, which have both uh, advantages and disadvantages are those things. All right, so this is just some part about uh, step number four. Let's just move to step number five. So yeah, as you get the uh, data collection and so on, this part, the step that you need to develop your research proposal there, we can say write a detailed plan about your research. We can say, we can focus on these three questions. What are you proposing to do? Yeah, what are the research topic? What are the statement of problem? What are the, uh, what are the, uh, Research up to what are the research question research uh, uh, research uh, hypothesis as well as the research uh, method that you are to use in here and what are the tool that you are to to uh, use or produce to collect the data and how you plan to to proceed yeah so what are the things. Yeah, what are the uh, uh, method, what are the tool, and where will you go and uh, collect uh, the data and so on, right? And why you select the proposed strategy? Yeah, just explain why. You use a quantitative and qualitative, just explain why. If you choose the uh, random and non-random assembling method, just explain why, why it's just like that one, yeah. So what, how, and why? You need to answer to this question to develop your research proposal there. In here, I would like to clarify that uh, in this research proposal, can normally there are three chapter. I mean, chapter one about introduction, chapter two about uh, uh, literature review, and chapter three is just about uh, research method. Or, or, or methodology, right? That uh, including with uh, design, design, with uh, sampling method, and so on. Yeah. So, in proposal, they they just want to see only 
the three uh, first three chapter and to be approved whether you can go and collect that or not in uh, page number three here all right okay so let's move to page number three this part you can say after you have uh, developed your research proposal in uh, page number three it's just uh, conducting a research study they yeah, after you get comment feedback about your proposal and it has been approved, it's just uh, move to the next step that uh, you want to go and collect data. Then we can say like doing the data gathering using one or more data collection methods like ah, uh, yeah. So here are the method or tool we're going to do like conducting interview just through the interview. Interview which I have uh, different type of interview. It can be structured or semi-structured interview uh, or unstructured and so on. All right. So those things that you need uh, to learn more as well about those things. And uh, it can be mailing out questionnaire. Yeah, currently maybe uh, you can send an email or sending through Telegram. Currently maybe Telegram or other uh, communication message by using questionnaire. Questionnaire, you can design it by your own, or you can just adapt or adopt from other, I mean copy from other to use. Yeah, but designing need further process for questionnaire designing, right? So send it out for just the person just tick, 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 and some part they can send it back. A conducting no, a nominal of a case group discussion. Yeah, it can be uh, minimized to be a small group discussion. Like uh, we can say like four or five people at the same time okay, by asking one question and then everyone can get involved or you can ask a particular question to a particular uh, people to answer. But uh, this part sometimes uh, we also need a research assistant to help to collect the data and here. It might be code, it might be uh, note taking. Yeah, but it's something like a focus group discussion. Since they, they have something in common to answer, right? Uh, this part we just uh, do something with the, uh, we can say like a common topic, right? You can say like common topic that, uh, they have something in common to discuss, but uh, something in confidential, you may not uh, conduct the uh, focus group in here. It's just like a thing that uh, we interview as well. We, we keep discussing based on the question uh, uh, design or, or question provided by the, the researcher in here, right? Okay, making an observation, which is the other way we can say, you can go and observe. Uh, observation which have different Entire observation as well. It can be participatory observation. It can be non-participatory observation, or it can be uh, field observation. Field observation we can uh, uh, divide to, into two as well. The other one it can be uh, recorded video and then observe, or you can go and observe from uh, the overview, not participant, but uh, observe with the uh, observation. Uh, record or diary that you can record there, okay, which is something. So, uh, which have uh, different type of interview and different type of observation as well. Yeah. However, okay, just be aware of ethical issue. You can say uh, you cannot force the people to fill the questionnaire. You cannot force the people to get involved or certain them. Okay, you done involving the interview, you will be trouble and so on. So just about ethical issue. So mostly we can say we just respect their decision making to join in that, uh, that declaration or not. We can give them freedom to stop at any time. They have freedom to and uh, to respond to question or they may not respond. This is their freedom and uh, we also need to keep their identity to be confidential. We cannot say, oh, Dara, Tita say like this, like that about the school principal. Avoiding from trouble to them, we just say the, uh, we can code thing by uh, using the code number, the participant number one, number two, or you can give them like uh, 
the given name, we can say, uh, the invented name by the researcher. Yeah, like that, right? You can change to Mr. Chuck, Mr. Cho, yeah, for example, right? Okay, so those things to, uh, to hide their identity, you can say about the ethical issue in here, all right? Yeah, these are the two, and you will learn more about uh, those things okay, in the following chapter. Okay, we shall move to step number seven. It's just about uh, processing and displaying data. You can say, as you collect the data, you want to uh, coding, coding the data, uh, analyze the data, as well as uh, producing the finding in here. Yeah. Display data mean you just provide the result. Okay, what did you find? How? What did you find okay, regarding to uh, your data collection there? You can say the first step that you have to do, you just analyzing the data depend on the type of information and how to communicate the finding. Yeah. We can say if you check interview, you need to uh, coding based on the main sim of the data you get or you just uh, analyze based on the uh, quantitative data by using software and so on there. Yeah. And then you need to discuss the finding. Yeah, we can say like this, distinguish between uh, descriptive data, quantitative statistic procedure or qualitative like narrative or content analysis and so on. Yeah, okay, uh, something that you can use in here. Or, Attitudinal scale, for example, like uh, yes, yeah, some some scale that you can use it uh, based on the uh, participant attitude and so on. It's just some part that uh, you can use it to um, analyze in that part as well. Okay, and uh, all these things you will see it in the following chapter. Yeah. So we move to step number eight that uh, will. Did the, the the last step that you you can uh, we can say like second last uh, writing a research report in here okay what have you done what uh, conclusion have you drawn from the finding so this are the thing that you concluded into your research report you can say this part you you are going to add up the other two or three chapter more you can say in your proposal you have come up with three chapter. And this part, you should add up two or three, it should depend on the part in uh, some place, they just need only five chapter, but uh, some part, they just need six chapters there to complete, so add up to, to that part. So a uh, different format for uh, qualitative and quantitative research. Yeah, we can say it can be, uh, yeah, if uh, with a uh, quantitative, you may come up with a chart, with table, with column, with uh, craft, a uh, craft or that part that uh, can represent the data inside, uh, but qualitative, it might be like a, a paragraph, just uh, uh, some part that you just try to uh, discuss, okay. Just like narrative, you can say, oh, okay, a researcher, uh, a participant A, just rest up like this, participant B, just rest up like this, the school principal, just rest up like this, for example, right? Okay, so, it's just about narrative or descriptive, which is based on that part, right? Okay, structure using main theme of study. Yeah, yeah, we can say like, uh, just come up with uh, uh, the theme that you can get up from the interview or the theme that you can get up from uh, your research question or some part that you try to uh, categorize the data to be uh, represent, to be uh, respond, uh, uh, responded to the the uh, statement of the problem or is a question that you have proposed in chapter one. Okay, use academic uh, convention. Yeah, follow the academic uh, writing way. Yeah, you can say like uh, need to uh, give quote, give, give uh, in text citation, right? Need to provide credit to those part by using, okay. Uh, the, find, the, the, the finding, it just uh, appear like this. Is it consistent or inconsistent to uh, 
a researcher, A, 1999, for example, or, or uh, uh, 2019, 2021, for example. So uh, follow that path. We can say, just uh, try to discuss by providing a citation of, of credit to uh, the former researcher by provide a concrete and uh, thing that uh, can can be discussed within that path. Yeah, you can see here they are too busy with the report writing. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, So in short one, we can say like uh, all the eight step model in here, it's just uh, something that uh, if you just uh, work on the three main pieces in here, like uh, what you have seen from the chart or from uh, the step at the very beginning, we can say this step is the most important one. You need to work on it carefully to formulate your research problem in here. Since the rest from page number two and number three will respond to this one. All right, so something there. So if you can come up with uh, all of these three uh, component, we can say it uh, really something that uh, scope on your paper there. So the next uh, chapter, they will describe about uh, some more part of the pace and step in here until guiding you to, uh, to, you, to your uh, research report. You can say research report writing. So yeah, it will talk about uh, research design. It will talk about uh, sampling technique. It will talk about uh, data collection, right? It's something there. Okay, so, so far, any, any question? Any question on that? Any question or concern? Yeah? You don't have a question? <laughs> You have or you don't have? You go with your dad? <laughs> okay, how about that? I don't have any question lecture. No lecture. Yeah. No, no question, right? <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel after that part that uh, you have uh, we have gone through it so far? I, I'm I so concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so concerned because research is so difficult to understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You you be pretend to concern or you just concern automatically? <laughs> I'm just concerned. Normally, research is the one that I'm always concerned since. Yeah. I can say I'm poor at research. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, that. This, um, this part. I, I know that I will fact this. <laughs> I know already that I will. And now it's time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
Okay, no worry. We can say like uh, you can do it whenever you forecast it. Like I mentioned earlier, we can say like uh, in case that everyone just with me together here. Yeah, we can say not mean I'm important for that, but uh, it's just some part that we can read and can learn from the process in here. And then uh, the thing will be will be better for that part. You can see, so just spend your quality time with the course. Yeah, at least you just come up with some picture about this one. I understand that uh, since uh, everyone not uh, experienced with those things, that's why like uh, it seems like uh, you just walk blindly, you know, like uh, yeah, like uh, sleepwalking somehow, right? Just like, <laughs> do you know sleepwalking? You slept, but uh, you keep walking and working. Yeah, some people they uh, they slept, but they uh, are cleaning the house or just uh, carry water to fill in the all the pot in the house, for example. It's mainly that. <laughs> you, <laughs> you ever experienced that one? <laughs> but my nephew. Your nephew, right? My nephew, his mother told me that. And he's sleeping, and then he, he stand up and walk. Uh, okay. From the home, and then he, he comes back and sleep. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Okay. Um, yeah, something there. Okay, if if uh, you sleep walking, if you sleep uh, asleep uh, conducting research, it might be much better there. After you get up, oh, okay, it's done. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, in here we can say like uh, sleepwalking here, like uh, yeah, like uh, sometimes okay, you get up at night and you want to go to the bathroom. Okay, at at dark night it might be uh, somehow dangerous for uh, you as well. We can say, but uh, we can say it does really need uh, some guideline, some help from uh, the one who just has experience. We can say not not expert, but uh, it can be your your senior, okay, all the people that you, uh, you have experience to get through it, uh, get through the, uh, get through the uh, conducting the research report or, and so on, they may have some idea to tell you about this one. So uh, that part we can say like, we, we does need uh, discussion supporting from uh, the other people. So during my time, whoever experienced that, I normally uh, ask them for help. Go and meet them, okay? Whatever they can have, it's just something. So no need to worry uh, or afraid of being asked before to help. You can see when uh, conducting this site in here, right? Okay, so that's why we can say it's hard, but it's everyone just come and join us. I think uh, something that you can get it from the course in here. But if you're concerned and then you have never attended the course, that is the problem. And not only the problem, but big problem, not for the course in itself, but for the rest of your degree. It uh, might be hard to graduate in here, you can see. That's why uh, the cost you need you to join. Where did you join? Yeah. Do you have any local to uh, teaching methodology? The book? Yeah. A lot. Okay, the book. Uh, let me find and share you. Uh, you please say to our team. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to find out that which one that I can uh, look at it and we'll try to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, let me try to find it and drop there. Normally, I have uh, downloaded already, right? mostly. So, yeah, that's why some people, they said me like, uh, what? <laughs> we can say like the resolvers and that they keep asking and then I can give them there. But it's fine, we can say not because of that, but uh, the thing that I, I, I do happy when the people did sing and doing sing. Okay.
Okay, any other thing? Any other concern? Not yet, have teacher. <laughs> because not yet, not yet. Concern. I'm not clear yet about the which one group that why no no and uh, no question yet. <laughs> yeah. When I, okay. When I try to find out, you have a question, a lot of questions to you. <laughs> it is fine. You can say like that. You may learn something from. Uh, uh, we can say you, you may learn something from uh, yesterday model about what 70, uh, 10, uh, 70, 20, and 10, right? Somehow training you can get only, only uh, how many percent about training? I mean, um, 10%. Yeah, only 10%, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, something there we can say. Yeah. You you do need you do need like a need more thing to uh, complete there to get a more twenty percent. Yeah, like uh, trying to find the coach or mentor, the one who just experienced with uh, research or help. You can see. So yeah, those things you will get more along the way, and uh, if you want to to get. Uh, it better, you can say, just go and conduct it. So at the 70%, our researchers, uh, you can get it from uh, conducting a research. Yeah, learn learn uh, about research, you just uh, practice and conduct it. You cannot uh, learn only the theory and you know how to do it. It is impossible there. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the more uh, issue experience for the first paper, uh, the next one, it might be easy for you. I strongly believe, right? I start to know that uh, in doing research, I need to know a lot of things. Yeah. To and, yeah, to be clear that that's why we need to, yeah. we need to read a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can say you need to read. Uh, but uh, you will be benefit from uh, the reading, you can say, actually. It does be benefit you. Not only you, but everyone. You will be upgrading. You will be uh, about to uh, learn something more than the thing that you just learned from school. Or some part we can say that research, that uh, reading will guiding you to the area that uh, quite new to you, we can say, right? It's just something that uh, uh, really important. That's why like I mentioned uh, in last session that uh, uh, I learned a lot from my research. I am not sure whether you have a click on uh, my research paper or not yet there. You can read it. It's not something excellent there, but the thing that I have gone through it and developed it with, uh, you can say like my original paper, struggling and Hard working day and night sometimes. I, I remember my last day um, uh, before the deadline to submit. I work uh, like uh, nearly 24 hours. I sit, keep, uh, sit and work from 9 a.m. in the morning until 4 a.m. for the next day. Yeah. And my advisor keep work, uh, keep helping me uh, until nearly one o'clock. And both of them are. Uh, a little bit old. <laughs> the couple from Osali, Dr. Karen and uh, John Walker, yeah, they keep working uh, and helping me at that time for like some proofreading and so on. So yeah, we can say you need uh, to meet people and ask for help. Uh, if uh, yeah, it can be they can become your research advisor. Yeah, ask them. Okay, whether they have time to give you some comment or have you some uh, a textbook. Yeah, during my time, it's not really easy like now. We can say uh, no internet for surfing or even uh, the result cannot be fine based on the time. Uh, we can say it's just uh, uh, some part that we cannot access to any website that uh, available for the textbook there. So. Okay, Miss Angela Liu, it's fine. 
Okay, uh, we can see like uh, at the time, I remember like uh, if I want to access to uh, one library at the university in Australia, my advisor just uh, connect and, and type password in and then I can go and search some article there. And whenever we just uh, turn on the internet, the thing is will be gone. So I decide not to uh, turn on my laptop, con connect with the modem for the internet at the time and, and bring it home. Uh, one hand just a dry motorbike, one hand just carry a laptop home. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, like something there, but, uh, really hard, but we just experience there. Okay, so it's fine. I, I will try to, yeah. I have one then, more thing uh, from you. Perhaps <laughs> you know the, the, the professor outside, or we can call from North. Uh, at the time, you can see like uh, two of them are, are the uh, visiting lecturer at uh, RGBP, you can see. So they just come and help. And one more thing, it's a recommendation from my former director of uh, NGO that they, uh, he also know, know both of them. And then uh, later on, we just have a chance to meet and talk and uh, discuss, and then we just ask them for help. Even uh, for my PhD, they, last time they also come and visit their uh, son in, in God there, nearby my house. And uh, they are so surprised that I just uh, move to PhD. And then they also give a hand and email. They, they support to support me with that part like, again. But uh, because of the time, not enough, I did not uh, bother them, but I uh, keep working there. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can say like from network that uh, we can ask for help whenever we can know them. We can say like, uh, it depends on your, your communication, okay, whether I can ask you for help with this with that, okay. The thing is to communicate through your communication. Even you just know them and whenever they check how uh, common, I not only ask the people that I know, but even examiner. Examiner that, uh, that uh, we just conduct the, the mark different for that. I also ask them to be my advisor. Just like uh, Dr. Mark Sron. Okay, at the time, he's just uh, the, mark, the chairman in the mark different for my, my thesis at, uh, for my master degree. And then I keep talking with him. So he he uh, gave me a lot of comments. And then I keep, uh, after that part, I keep talking with him whether I can have at the time to meet him, to uh, ask him for help or, and for the comment on my paper. Okay, as I change some from his comment. Yeah, later on he said, okay, it's okay, you can come. You can come and uh, talk at a coffee sometime. Yeah, those things, this is the, about the communication for help. You can say, if you just wait, they will come and, and, and have you, maybe no, you may ask them, uh, what uh, you concern and then telling them and asking them whether it is possible if uh, you just want them to see your research paper and then get comment or feedback and any time during lunch time or during uh, for a cup of coffee and talk for example we just pay them for a cup of coffee this is about communication and uh, you cannot sit still you can say like whenever you don't know things Whenever you just learn that the people know how to do it, better ask them and check. And mostly we can say like uh, the one who just experience about those things, they may not uh, mind to meet you and talk. They may happy actually. Since uh, we can say they may experience like you right now, just like me, I, I just experience it and I do understand about the feeling of the one who just learned how to conduct research at the first time. So sometimes whenever they request for help for meet, okay, I just happy to meet. We can say like that because we do feel and understand about the feeling when we just don't know how to do thing, and then uh, yeah, the thing that we, we we do need the support in here. You got what I mean? Yeah, yeah, something there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, since I have uh, prepared the uh, guideline for group assignment, I just want to share a little bit. And yeah, the people may not hear, but <laughs> I hope that they, they can see it from the video later on. <laughs> 
Yeah. And would you please drop it out in the, the group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will send it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this part we can see uh, which are how, yeah, based on what you had me to do. I just copy it from the Telegram as well. You can see everyone will start working from chapter H about uh, select your study design. Yeah. Um, chair, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pardon. About the group, the group design uh, member here is not uh, true by my feeling. It's just from my random. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. Lucky draw, the chair, lucky draw. Okay, good, good thing. Right? Yeah. Okay, good thing. Yeah. And then I, I, the result is like this. Okay, okay. From my so, lucky draw. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Bunsru, he, he just only won. So, he, the lucky one, right? The luckiest one. <laughs> okay so uh, yeah we uh, we can come up with this one it's fine maybe just somebody a short one maybe not too long since uh, yeah after the presentation we may have the discussion you can say uh, uh, we may have some part from my side as well not mean you just work and i i do nothing here but uh, we can say like uh, the pair presentation and after that it might be how some wrap up or some point that we can discuss after that part i still get involved there right no worry so uh, we can say uh, we just have some people to be responsible and then we still uh, uh, discuss and get the input from everyone yeah it might be from your experience from the presenter themselves yeah from my side we still get involved there so yeah uh, this part Okay, we still we still keep working there. And as I said, the group presentation, we can say it will be talk about a research proposal. I will move back and work for everyone, as well as I move to the uh, like uh, research report writing there. That uh, the most important part that we will discuss later on. Okay, so uh, the thing uh, we can say like. Uh, uh, we will start from week six. So for for group number one here. They may have about three week time to prepare. Since this week is week number three, right? So start working from now on. Should not delay. <laughs> Since the presentation will be next month, and be uh, uh, they just have about a, a month's time to prepare, right? To read the chapter, prepare the slide, and the guideline will be outside uh, at the, somewhere here. Yeah, uh, week seven, week eight, week nine. I just proposed the date, but uh, it might be changed in case that it, uh, we just have the holiday like uh, on week 14, 15, we, we may uh, have a holiday. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it will be announced as a holiday or we still study just wait and see. But uh, I just keep that day to be safe, right? And uh, the, the debt might be, uh, be flexible, yeah, in some case that we just have as a call. You can count, can, can count based on the week, right? Like now we are in week three. So next week might be week four, week five, week six, seven, okay, and so on, right? Can count based on the week. The debt might be yeah. changed, right? Yeah. yeah about so, the, the last week, uh, sorry, about next week, I get that picture long. Uh, he said that you have a holiday. He called it the day of uh, the, the king's birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he also discussed with me, and I also told him in case that uh, the university they still let uh, we have climb, I may start to shoot his session as well. But it's holiday, okay? He just go okay, and enjoy the time with his family there. Yeah? Signature go and visit maybe the grandma and so on. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it might be the holiday there, I think. Okay, so yes, yeah, something here. So uh, we will be responsible based on the name given. Uh, and thank for Richard for prepare this one. And the week, we will still based on the week, but the date might be flexible there. Yeah. And you can count now. We are in uh, week three. So next week we four, and here what you have to do, we can say like you can read the chapter and discuss there, 
and prepare slide follow five five format uh, for doing presentation. I I, I don't like uh, the wordy slide. You can see like uh, just some part that uh, okay possible. Yeah, like uh, only a short sentence or short phrase. Point point point. Okay, no need to copy everything there. Just put only the main point and explain. Or picture you can use also the picture. If possible, prepare a ten item question for as a presentation. Okay, it can be true for statement. It can be a multiple choice or anything that you can use it like gap filling and so on. Yeah, yeah, for for them to do. I just put an answer to the question. At least two question is not many, but at least two. It might be from uh, your classmate or it might be from me in case, right? Okay, and if you have pair work, it, uh, both of you must get involved in presentation, right? It's uh, the day come and one of you absent. So the one who were absent may not get a score in here, to be fair, all right? Okay, yeah, only that's one. So uh, I have one thing to to know as well. Yeah. How about please? the score? We, if we present the same day, and then how about the score is the same or not? I mean, in one group, have got the score the same or not? Yeah, if you just work well together, you will get the same score. Since uh, some part of the rubric will be focused on group unity. You can say, uh, we can say like somehow, okay, you need to work well together. Yeah, so the score will not be separated here. So yeah, the same score will be given to the two member in here. But if uh, one member absent, the other one is still get a score. And yeah, I don't care whether uh, they can respond to both all or not, or even they can do presentation only their part is fine. Because I don't want, yeah. uh, I don't like the way that uh, one absent and then trouble the other one in here. All right. So yeah. one absent, they better uh, take their own responsibility here. But they better spend time. Uh, I, I hope that uh, for from next week, everyone will get involved together, all of the nine people here, since it is important, right? Okay. So, yeah, important subject. We can say like uh, from now on, we say you'll be one part that uh, really important for all of the sector in here. So as you uh, graduate from master degree and you don't know how to do research, you are like an illiteracy person in research in here. You're like uh, illiteracy from the part that uh, the people who do not know how to read and write. Yeah, but now it really hard since you may not uh, be able to uh, discuss or talk with the people who, who has uh, experience in doing those things. Or, or whenever they uh, talking about research, you may not know about that part. Really a shame there. Yes. So at least your experience with uh, this part to, to graduate. And later on, you can say, oh, OK, you, you can read my research paper here, right? Like, like me, I can, I can show to you. Even though it's not an excellent or perfect paper, but at least what I have tried from my scratch, from what I don't know nothing about research, uh, I, I don't know anything about research, and then I can come up, oh, this one, actually one, but something that I have tried there. Yeah. yeah, should not uh, like people, some people, they may copy from other, they may not show it in here. So this is the thing that uh, we can do, we can say like, uh, we are maybe researcher, we should learn how to do research. So it might be something good or bad, it's fine. You can share. We are brave enough to share because of what we have tried. That is uh, our best product, we can say. Like uh, not perfect, but the best product since we have tried all of our effort in here to do it, right? Okay, anything to say, Regina? Uh, one more thing about the member the that they are absent. Will you give them the second chance to raise that their point that um their point? Yeah, if they want. But uh, I, I give I give them option, other option, not the second chance, but should be option. For example, like uh, uh today it will be uh Virginia and Mesa will do presentation. 
Vajana will come, but Mesa just have a mission, for example. It's fine. Mesa can record the video of his part and drop into the group. Vajana will do presentation about his part uh, through Zoom meeting in here. And I will go through uh, the video recorded there and give them score there. All right. This is the option since we just use it with technology. So no, no matter you are here or you are in the cloud, you are somewhere, but it's just make it happen. We can say uh, record video. And if uh, the group member or the classmate has question, they can watch, they can comment and add a question letter. And Misa, as I got the question from the Telegram group here, just try to answer what it's about, for example. Okay, no matter he is on uh, the bus to uh, the province, but they, they still keep, keep doing things in here. Is it possible? <laughs> I got it. Yeah. We have I done it. No, no letter E. <laughs> okay, no letter E, right? Yeah, sorry for Thank that. You. Okay, so that's it about this one. Okay, uh, I will drop it into the group and uh, I will write the other guideline for concept note that uh, everyone must do it. We can say concept note really important. Yeah, and we still have, okay, I, I am keep thinking about the way that you want to develop your research proposal as well, but I, I worried about your time actually. It's not so, I may come up with the concept note and yes, in the, it from the scratch, and the other part it can be a reflection paper. Let me keep thinking about those possibilities, right? Okay, so that's it. Any other question about this uh, group assignment? No pen, no gain, right? I really like this one. <laughs> so if if I'm not sure, I will show the picture. <laughs> okay, you can you can drop the message there. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, keep working. Okay. To make it happen, we can say try. I will upload this, and everyone can see it there. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for your hard working and, and patient here. Uh, over even those only of you, but uh, we are here until the end. And we will keep the process to uh, until finish uh, the lesson in here. And no matter they are here or not, I hope that they should have a strong commitment to go back and, and uh, back up from the video in here. It's just some benefit for them. All right, so that's it. And to enjoy the rest of your day. And if possible, to keep reading uh, chapter three, okay for the next meeting, we are to discuss more about literature review, right? Okay, so thank you, uh, both of you, to stay with me for today. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Richard, for all the way by our side. <laughs> yeah, okay. Be patient, right? It might be boring to meet me Saturday and Sunday, but uh, just be patient. Just about some week more, we will say goodbye. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, yeah, enjoy your the rest of the time, the day, and be ready for working tomorrow as well. Okay, see you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good luck. See you. Good luck. Be safe and sound to go back home, everyone. <laughs> Bye bye, lecture. Yeah, goodbye. See you. Goodbye, See you. Yeah, Enjoy goodbye. your your research, right? Finding your, the topic. Right? <laughs> so finding the statement of problem first, we can say you you may learn how to find it, right? Yeah. 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 You start with the problem. So what are the problem that yeah, you want yeah. to solve uh, about uh, your career in here, for example, right? Okay. okay. Enjoy it. Yeah. A dream. Thank you, lecturer. Uh, working on research. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. See you, right? Okay.